let's have a look at the extra games that come with the V on the VC1 Virtual Console cartridge. First up, it's Mahjong 13, or Mahjong 13, or whatever you're supposed to pronounce it. I have no idea how to play this game. It involves tiles, dice, and some form of gambling, I think. All the on-screen text is in Chinese. I am stumped. And now it's Mahjong, or Mahjong 16, which is kind of the same game, but with more tiles. I think. I don't know. Why am I reviewing this? I don't know how to play it. Leave me alone! It's Bubble Blaster, it's Zuma, it's Magnetica, it's Action Loop, it's that game where you fire marbles at other marbles, except this time they're called Bubbles. Get more than three together, they explode. I'm sure you know how to play this. This version's okay, I mean it's got power-ups and other bits of interest, but the problem is the controls are a bit iffy, you sort of have to push the balls in almost predefined lines, which makes it a bit crap as compared to the DS and 360 versions. Pinball Fish. Looks like a cross between Arkanoid and Space Invaders, and is actually just Arkanoid with fishing. It's alright though. Your bat seems to move a bit slowly, but there's a lot of power-ups. There's some big fish later on that take extra hits. Quite good fun, really. Squirrel Bobble. Squirrel Bobble? Puzzle Bobble. 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 Puzzle bobble, puzzle bobble, puzzle bobble, puzzle bobble, puzzle bobble, buster move. It's another puzzle game, Jewel Master 2. Was there ever a Jewel Master 1? Who knows? Who cares? This is actually pretty good. Imagine columns, but you can also rotate the pieces. Um, and that pretty much sums it up. But it's good. It's fun to play and it works really well. What more could you ask for? Well, I suppose you could ask for a lot more, but you're not going to get it. And finally, it's Lightning Plan, one of the more interesting games. It's a horizontally scrolling shooter, with graphics nicked mostly from UN Squadron and partly from Metal Slug. And it's not bad. There's a lot of power-ups, there's decent bosses. The graphics are pretty good, to be honest. Well, because they're nicked, of course, but never mind that. The weakness is that the levels are very sparsely populated. You can fly along for several seconds without any actual enemies coming along. This problem alleviates in the later levels, but makes it a bit dull early on. And that's all seven games on the VC-1 cartridge. Apparently there are two other VC cartridges available for the V, containing such exciting games as Plumber and Mr. Onion and Tiger Rescue. But I haven't got any of those. Sorry.